Welcome back everyone. This is Wicked Sources. And today I want to share with you guys what it's like working at a smoke shop. But not just working, but also owning and operating and just overall, I would call slavery. So before I jump in, if you would kindly give this video a like and subscribe, if you want to stick around. It is work. It is serious work. And someday, someday soon, I might just have a time-lapsed video where it kind of just shows you like what's going on all day long. It's work. Boxes. That's all I can say. Boxes. You can count on boxes. Many of them. On the flip side, it's not all bad news. Like, it's work. Is it fulfilling? In some ways, like the best part is really interacting with all of you guys, each and every one. Um, and creating these awesome relationships, having laughs. Uh, and uh, my goal overall is to help solve a problem. So if you have a problem, I would love to help you solve it. I haven't really sold a product in years. It's not really what I do anymore. I haven't done it in many years because it just, it's pointless. If you walk in here or if you're on my website, then you're, you know, you're interested in something, you're either gonna buy it or not, but I am available to answer questions. Uh, either me or a team member. There is a fun side to it too. So like this creative work is really fun. Um, the, uh, the relationships, absolutely awesome. The new stuff, all the cool stuff that we get exposed to before anyone else. Trying new stuff. The excitement of a, a really cool product that I know will solve a problem for one of you guys. On the flip side of that, you know, there's a, a ton of accountability. Like, though I enjoy all those things, I have to be accountable to you, and you, and you, and you, and you, and, and you, and all of you. You see what I mean? Like, thousands and thousands of people, in store and online, year after year. It makes it so hard sometimes, like, to cope with, because, um, like, I just hate my life. Like, I end up hating this place, because it's, uh, um... I know that it requires so much of me, plus the finances, like forget about that. Anyone who thinks that a business owner is rich, like please, go start one. Struggle for 10 years and pray that someday you might see even semi-success because that's kind of where I'm at, you know. After about eight years of this, I'm kind of like, you know, I would consider this a semi-success and nobody talks about my previous failures. Um, I certainly don't, so. <laughs> but really though, it's, um, it's, uh, not, it's not where the money's at. Now if you go and open up 10 of them, if you can afford that and you know, not lose all your hair uh, doing it, like maybe there's some wealth there. But overall, it's a, uh, it's a living. It's a very small living, especially in Los Angeles, the way things cost. Uh, it's, uh, it's just fucking stupid. Um, it's insane to think about, like, how anybody survives here. What happened to the dream, man? The dream that I had dreamt oh so long ago. Now, anyways, let's put that aside, because, uh, that's boring. Uh, it's, uh, it's an obvious thing that any business owner has to deal with. But, uh, boxes, don't forget. Plenty of boxes every single day. But with everything that I have said, all of it combined, I don't think I would trade it even though every 90 days I want to hang myself. I don't think I would trade it because it's, uh, you know, it's my creation. I love to create things because the work that I do here doesn't define who I am. Not entirely anyways, it's what I do, you know? If you're a plumber, is that like what you do? Like, is that what you do or is that who you are? Right? Like, and so this is something I had to learn over time. Like, I don't have to become the business. It's just something that I do. And luckily I do it well enough that people support us and you guys watch and um, I appreciate it. Right now, quick plug, there's a fairly good sale happening on the site, uh, wickedsources.com or arcsmokeshop.com. I want to leave you with this, is uh, don't live in regret. I don't regret building this place, though I have in the past multiple times, multiple times, 
I want to stress that I went for it. I started with zero, this place was nearly empty, and I had to figure out how to make it look the way it does now. And even current photos of the place don't give it justice because even, even that's almost uh, 24 months, you know, since those were taken. So new photos are due. Uh, and the place has changed because it's always like constantly changing, like revolving and like, you know, reshaping and reevaluating how things look and where they look and why. Part of the job, again, it's work, but it's uh, fulfilling and I'm grateful for all of your support, for all the love and for all the likes and subscribes. <laughs> so thanks for watching. Uh, Wicked Sources, like and subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next one.